Hey, what's up guys? Um, Tuesday afternoon, just wrapped up um, my day. It's about 4.30. And uh, just gonna kind of talk about the, uh, the echo blower that I got last week. Um, I've only, I've only used it two days, uh, last Friday, cause I got it, uh, Thursday, Thursday after I got done with my yards that day. Uh, and today, uh, yesterday I did, uh, one aerating job. Um, so really, you know, didn't, didn't really get to use it then, but, uh, just after two days of using it, man, I love it. It's, it's, uh, for how big it is, it's lightweight um, compared to my uh, Red Max 7500 I think is what I have uh, it, it just it just feels good so uh, that's a plus um, as far as power goes uh, I'm happy with how powerful it is uh, and I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to really kind of tell how much better it is in, in regards to like the CFM, you know, cause it's 300, 300 higher than my Red Max. I don't think I'm really gonna be able to get the feel for that until I get into leaves. Uh, but just using it, you know, for blowing off walks and clumps of grass in the yard, man, it it's, it's amazing. I love it. And the trigger, uh, for the throttle, that's something I've never experienced on a blower because all the other blowers I've used, which have been Red Maxes, you know, always have that little arm on the left side um, for the throttle, which, you know, it's it's fine that, you know, that, that works too. But, you know, just having that trigger and having the other hand free, you know, to either, you know, uh, you know carry my trimmer or you know, close a gate um, is is pretty cool. So that's a plus. So yeah, just just overall, I'm so far I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it uh, takes one or two pulls to get it cranked, and you know that's always nice. And uh, you know, it, it it doesn't seem to uh, you know when you pull it that first time. You know how sometimes when you uh, you know pull an older piece of equipment and it can almost kind of like snap back on you um, you know this one uh, just uh, you know pulls right out and I know that's probably just because it's brand spanking new but um, man it's it's just nice getting new equipment and it feels good when you're a business owner being able to afford equipment like this. And the reason why I got the Echo Blower is, um, first off, uh, earlier this year, I had a Red Max trimmer. It was about a year and a half old. And I was just out on a yard one time trimming and it just died on me. And that was the second time that I've had a Red Max trimmer do that. And, you know, I took it to my mechanic and they said, you know, it's, it would cost more than what it's worth. Um, so what I ended up doing was I needed to finish out my day uh, mowing and I needed a trimmer. Uh, so I just actually went ahead and uh, bought an Echo 2620T, uh, mainly because uh, of a couple podcasts I had been listening to had you know really been building up the echo brand uh for you know for for the professional and you know if i'll be honest that you know i thought you know echo was for the for the homeowner you know that's just kind of always what i heard so that's just what i thought um but listening to the podcast and hearing actual lawn care professionals, you know, talk about it and, um, you know, having the, uh, the echo people on the podcast talking about it, you know, I was like, eh, I'll give them a shot and got that 26 T 2620 T and right off the bat, 
it was it, it blew me away with how well it was built and you know it, it's still lightweight but it's solid and you know I've had that for a few months now three or four months maybe and it's still you know going strong for me um, so you know when I, when I got that and had used it for a little bit and listening to more podcasts and hearing about the uh, 8010 from Echo, I was like, you know, my, I, my, my next purchase is going to be an Echo blower. And sure enough, that's what it was. And I went to uh, Horizon Distributors, which is my local dealer here in Colorado. And they, uh, I, I, I went, I went when it snowed a couple weeks ago, because I wanted to get one. But the guy there told me, hey, if you can wait a week, uh, we're having a sale on uh, a one-day sale on all Echo stuff. It's gonna, it was like, gonna be ten or fifteen percent off. Um, so I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll wait. And so I ended up waiting a week, and that was last week. Picked it up after I got done. And uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be fun using that thing for uh, for leaves. So that that's what I'm most excited about. Just hopefully becoming more efficient with leaves and you know pushing a higher volume of leaves than what my 7500 could handle. So so yeah, when I get back to the dojo, you know, I'll I'll go over um, you know kind of. Kind of the ins and outs uh, of the 8010, and uh, maybe just wrap up my thoughts on on uh, on the video when I do that. And so yeah, I'm about maybe 10 minutes away from from the dojo, so we'll uh, we'll see in a bit. Um. So yeah, going back to my uh, other complaint that I had when I first pulled this out of the box and stuff was that I thought that this was too small. Uh, but it turns out that this is like 80 something fluid ounces. Uh, and my, uh, my Red Max one was only like 60 something ounces. So even though it's longer this way, it doesn't hold as much fuel as this thing does just going off of ounces um, I still don't know why they didn't extend it out here I don't know if maybe it's just because the uh, it, it gets hot right here and obviously that might be a fire hazard um, but anyway this is uh, I filled this up this morning so it's about halfway, and I think I had maybe like 23 yards, 22, 23 yards today. And you know, I was just using this to blow off uh, grass from walks and rocks and walkways and clumps of grass on the yard. So uh, not too bad. Could probably use this two days with without filling it up, but I'll, you know, I always fill my equipment up. Either uh, at night when I get back or in the morning. Um, so yeah, this uh, this right here is a choke. Uh, man, I tell you, I, I used a choke this morning. Uh, obviously, because it was cold, cold start. But I, did, I haven't had to use this choke uh, at all for the rest of the day. Uh, as to wear with my Red Max. Um, you know, there were times when, you know, I'd have to use a choke multiple times. Um, so yeah, just, just one or two pulls and, you know, it starts right up. Um, but yeah, one thing I did notice that I thought was, uh, pretty cool is, uh, this metal piece around the, uh, nozzle. Cause I know on, uh. I know on my Red Max, if you can see this right here, it does get a little bit scuffed up. I've already had to replace this once. 
because it just started uh, wearing thin and uh, cracking. And then once this cracks and you lose the nozzle, your your uh, your air pressure, the amount of air that goes through, like drops off dramatically. Um, in years past, we actually have just duct tape around this thing, uh, just as like a bush fix. Um, but yeah, I'm actually really, uh, I really like that. Like that just makes it feel like uh, more premium, you know, with the amount of money that you spend on something like this. It's nice to have, you know, things like this. So one thing that uh, if you do have this kind of blower rack with my 7500, it fits in here real well. This uh, the 8010, it's a little more tight of a fit. You know, that's obviously just because it's because it's a bigger blower. But these straps kind of get you can't really do anything with these straps when it's sitting in there. So I wanted to show you how this thing sits in uh, the green industry, green touch industry blower rack. Um, so yeah, you can see right here that, you know, these, these straps kind of really don't have any place to go. So yeah, you can see how it kind of sits in there and uh, Really no place for those straps to go. Well, on this side, I guess so. But right here, you kind of really don't. So you know that'll like, you know, get in the way of uh, locking and unlocking it with the key. Uh, but here you can see it sits in here. Uh, sits in here pretty nice. The uh, tube does. Yeah, right here you can see where it's where it's getting messed up. Maybe it is just when I close this, it's gouging that out. It actually kind of makes sense because this is uh this is kind of sharp right there. So if I close this, it's hitting right there. But yeah, if you have the uh, equipment defender, you know I think they have the bar that actually comes across here. With the Green Touch Industries, you get you get two of these. This one I think is for like steel blowers. You have the bigger one for these blowers that have the uh, air filter up on top. But it would be nice if this piece right here wasn't there. Because then I might be able to just use this piece like that. So. I don't know if uh, if anyone from Green Touch Industries is watching this, maybe have an option to like maybe not have this little thing. I don't know if maybe this might just be for uh, extra support or rigidity. Overall, it fits in there well. It's easy to take out, fairly easy to uh, to put back in. Um, but one thing I did have to do, and this is kind of a stupid thing on my part. So I had, I had my, uh, 7,500 sitting in here, took it out, got this, was going to put the 8010 in here and I put it in there and this thing wasn't close. I'm like, oh man, this sucks. Like I'm going to have to buy a new blower rack because, you know, I want my equipment secured, you know, either when I'm in the backyard or, you know, even just like, you know, going down the road, I like to, I like to lock it just so, you know, something doesn't, something done come undone. Uh, well, the reason why is because this, this bracket right here actually sat two notches lower. You can see where the uh, old carriage bolt went right there. Um, so I emailed Green Touch Industries, uh, you know, like wondering if maybe they made a, uh, another bar for the 8010. And of course, you know, the guy e emails me back and he says, you know, you can just move the back plate up. 
I, I felt like kind of an idiot with with uh, <laughs> not realizing that I could move this up to fit the 8010. Um, so if you do have these kind of uh, blower racks, the 8010 will fit, um, but you just gotta be careful of this uh, bracket um, chewing up your air filter housing. So that's uh, full throttle. Then you just pop it back down to idle. Then that turns it off. I do kind of wish that this was uh, like this snapped back. I mean, it clicks, but I, you know, I kind of wish that it would, uh, you know, just kind of like snap back. You just, it's idle. You want to turn it off, and then it goes right back there. Uh, minor complaint, though. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get used to having this in my hand and using this when I need to and then you know finding that right spot for the idle because when I actually did first use this for the first uh, first day when I was using it I would have it like that and then I'd do that and turn it off and you know you have to take it off and obviously start it back up one thing that uh, takes a little getting used to is this whole uh, tube section right here it is pretty long and pretty rigid and that can obviously be fixed because I can take off this uh, this uh, middle section right here to just shorten it which I might end up doing I don't know yet but um, yeah it just does seem a little bit longer and that's not necessarily really a complaint but more just you know something I'm gonna have to have to get used to just because of the fact that it is such a more powerful blower and you know it's bigger so um, but yeah these straps man these straps are super super comfortable and back here you know um, this is where it can suck in air and help cool your back and you know here in Colorado you know we're still in the low to mid 80s uh, I think we're supposed to get up to 90 degrees on on Friday um, so this has actually been really nice to help cool you off you know when when you get down with the yard just sucking in some of that air and helping you cool off yeah on my uh, 7500 it doesn't have that so I just never really knew that that was that was a thing and how much I love it <laughs> until this started doing it um, so yeah that's a that's another plus way to go echo you have two points to where you can shorten it here which I think is probably going to bring it a little higher up on your back so it's not sitting so low um, and then he, these ones down here are just gonna be to have the uh, straps be a tighter fit which which I really like because with the 7500 you know just has these straps on the bottom so you're kind of just like the the blower you, you can have the blower sit really high or not really high but just sit higher on your back and then it feels real tight as to where this you know you can have the you can have it sit higher and then have these down here to make it more comfortable so it's not you know so so tight around your uh, shoulders and stuff. I will say that after using the 7500 or just Red Max blowers in general, and I know some of them have the trigger, but most of them have the arm that come down. Maybe every five yards or so, I'll reach over on this side to grab the lever to bring it down and uh, give it some gas. And then I'm like, oh, wait, it doesn't have that anymore. So it, uh, it is taking some getting used to, but I definitely prefer this. Definitely prefer the hand trigger. If you guys have uh, any questions about the blower, uh, leave them in the comments. Um, yeah, I'm loving this. If you guys, uh, or in the market for a blower, one that has a lot of power. I 
definitely recommend the PB8010T by Echo. Well, thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, give it a thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. And uh, we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Later.